Jesus and the children. Mark and Sarah were waiting with mother and baby Esther to see Jesus. Other children were waiting with their mothers. Jesus' helpers frowned at them. Can't you see that Jesus is busy? He has no time for children. Mark and Sarah and mother with baby Esther turned slowly away. Mark hung his head and watched the dust of the path squish up between his brown toes. Sarah looked back at Jesus. A tear ran down her cheek. Then they heard Jesus say to his helpers, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not. All the children ran to Jesus. Jesus took baby Esther on his lap. He smiled and touched Sarah's cheek, where the tear had run down. He put his hand on Mark's head. The children took turns standing close to Jesus. He told them stories. On the way home, Mark whistled a happy tune. Sarah skipped ahead, and then she waited and took Mother's hand. I wish we could see Jesus every day, she said. Maybe, said Mother, maybe soon Jesus will come to the temple. One day, Mark and Sarah heard people singing the Hosanna song. They ran to see why the people were singing. They saw Jesus riding on a colt coming down the road. People were laying their coats on the road for him to ride over. Boys were waving palm branches and shouting. Girls were tossing flowers and singing. May we go with Jesus, asked Mark. May we, asked Sarah. Mark's father cut a palm branch for him, and mother helped Sarah fill a basket with flowers. Mark waved his palm branch and shouted, Hosanna to the son of David! Hosanna! Hosanna! Sarah tossed flowers on the road and sang, Hosanna! Hosanna! It was like a big parade. It made Jesus happy to hear the children shout and sing. The parade came to the top of a hill. Jesus stopped the colt and looked down over the hill. The boys stopped waving their palm branches and looked. The girls stopped tossing flowers and looked. All the people stopped and looked down over the hill. What did they see down over the hill? There was a brook down over the hill, a sing-along, laugh-along brook, but they were not looking at the brook. There was a city with a high stone wall down over the hill, but they were not looking at the city with the high stone wall. They were looking at the temple, the white marble temple, shining like a big snow castle in the afternoon sun. Everyone, yes, everyone, had stopped at the top of the hill to look at the temple, the beautiful temple. The next day, Mark and Sarah and many other children went with Jesus and his friends to the temple. But when they got there, the sounds coming from the temple didn't sound like a temple at all. There was no sound of singing and praying. It wasn't quiet-like and hush-like, with people tiptoeing when they walked. Instead, there was a terrible, rackety noise. Traders had brought to the temple cattle and sheep and doves to sell for offerings. They shouted, Buy cattle for your offering! Buy sheep for your offering! Buy doves for your offering! Money changers were there, clinking their money. It didn't seem like a temple at all. Not at all. It was like a noisy marketplace. Jesus stood in the doorway. The cattle traders looked at him. The sheep traders looked at him. The dove traders looked at him. They all stopped their shouting and selling. The money changers stopped clinking their money. Everyone looked at Jesus and waited to see what he would do. 
Jesus raised his arm. He said, Take these things hence. Such a hurrying and a scurrying. The traders hustled the cattle out. They rushed the sheep out. They grabbed the dove cages and ran. The money changers didn't even stop to take their money. All the grown-up people ran away from Jesus. But the children didn't run away from Jesus. Mark and Sarah and all the children crowded close around him. Jesus told them stories. He took the little ones on his knee. A little boy went to sleep on his lap. Then the sick people came to Jesus. A boy with a hurt leg came hobbling on crutches. Jesus put his hand on the hurt leg and made it well. The boy threw away his crutches. Now he could walk, he could run, he could jump. A father and mother brought their sick little girl to Jesus. She was so sick they carried her in a hammock. Jesus took her small thin hand in his. He said, be well, little girl, be well. The little girl sat up and smiled. She was well. A boy led a blind man to Jesus. The blind man's eyes were tight shut. He had never seen a tree or a house, not anything. Jesus made his eyes see. And the first thing the blind man ever saw was the lovely face of Jesus. The children were so happy when they saw the sick people made well. They again waved palm branches and sang the Hosanna song. The grown-up people who had run away came back. They looked in at the temple doors and heard the children singing. They said to Jesus, Make the children be still. But Jesus liked to hear the children sing. He didn't want them to be still. It was time to close the temple doors. Tomorrow the children would come back to hear more stories. Jesus wanted them to come. He had said, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not. Mark and Sarah waved goodbye to Jesus. All the way home they sang the Hosanna song. Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna, Hosanna 